<laughs> hey hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we're going to talk about, once again, the Nintendo Wii. So recently I reviewed, or as I said, unboxed also the Wii. How was it collecting in 2022 with the normal edition? And yeah, the first edition was pretty damn awesome. I had a blast playing all these things, especially with the Wii Sport. But guess what? They also made a Wii Mini. And I'm just going to be honest with you guys, I have no idea why they make this thing. And the reason why is like, okay, I know, like, they make this thing cheaper, they can sell it cheaper, or maybe still make a profit. But the thing is, like, this thing doesn't make any sense in many ways, because there were a lot of stuff that was cool about the Wii that doesn't being supported with the Wii Mini. And the Wii Mini, I can still remember this thing was in store brand new, and the Wiis, they sold so many of these bloody things that they were like dirty cheap to pick up second hand. And that's the reason I mainly say it's like the Wii Mini doesn't make any sense to me. Some time ago, I picked up the Wii Mini just to make a video of the channel. I just want to experience how was this thing because I was still very curious because I only owned the original back in the day. And I must say like the collector I bought this from, he had a very big collection, he sold a couple of items to me and I just wanted to see this mini version come complete in box because it's like a lot of fun to unbox stuff here on the channel. I'm guessing this thing isn't packed up like it should be. Okay, so here we're going to get the Wii and this thing look, looks and like feels really cheap. Okay, look at this freaking sensor bar, I hate the light. Personally, I don't hate the sensor bar, but I hate the cable. It's always getting so messy. It comes with a red controller. I think it was normally like the Mario limited edition, but it was pretty damn awesome that the original controller and it's also like a mint condition. But there was another thing I was wondering. So this is the mini edition. So it has been slimmed down in many ways, but how is it with the power supplies? So at last we're going to get the mini version or the Wii mini version. And at the right, this uh, yellow version is the original one or from the original console. And the first thing I'm noticing is like, it has exactly the same power supply. So they didn't do a revision of the mainboard itself, I'm guessing, like, it's still 52 watts. Yeah, they did some changes, but the mainboard is maybe still the same. Okay, so the other thing they changed out is, of course, the disk drive. We have this cool slide in disk drive that has been removed with the original one. And the other thing they also removed is the GameCube ports. Yeah, so even the Wii Mini doesn't have these ports, so you cannot play GameCube games this way anymore. And in my opinion, that's a little bit of a bummer. But guess what? So we cannot play the GameCube games anymore. But when you're looking at the Wii's, also here they had like a second edition Wii that also didn't have the ports. So that is basically something, not something really new, but it's something they already removed. And I'm guessing it's also like trying to reduce the cost of making Wii and make more profit. Okay, so let's take a close look at the Wii Mini. So absolutely it's mini, it's way smaller than its predecessor. And I'm gonna say like this thing feels like so freaking cheap and it has a top loader, nothing really special. We added one with the PlayStation 1, for example. But everything, like everything about this thing is cheap. Okay, at the back, we're going to get a couple of connections. And then we're going to get USB, the sensor bar, stuff that we've seen before. Here, we're going to get an extra cover. So let's open that thing up because that is quite interesting thing they did over there. So when you're removing the cover, you can replace the internal battery. I find it a quite interesting way how they did engineer this Wii Mini thing. Quite interesting, but yeah. But when you're looking at the old Wii, yep, the Wii Mini is mini, but it is not like it's superb mini. Like it's very compact. It's still in quite a big system. So I think the Wii Mini is a thing basically like worth picking up. Personally, I just have the preference for the original one, by the way. Okay, but how about collecting in 2022? So if you're getting yourself like Wii Mini and just want to play some original Wii games, yeah, absolutely cool. Like we're having so many Google games to play. And my favorite one still is the Wii Sports. I love to play this thing every single time I have a Wii powered on and connected. But there is a downside to this. So I picked up a couple of Wiis back in today just to make videos here on the channel. And I'm just a big fan of Wii. So I just want to have a couple of them also to play. But when it comes to the disc, then you can see like some of them have completely be destroyed. So the Super Mario Galaxy, this one was complete, but sadly this game was absolutely destroyed. Like it's very filthy, that happens of course, but you can see like it's all scratched up. And this is something we're going to see more often when you're going to collect for the Wii. A lot of people don't care about the value anymore, so they just like use them like freaking frisbees. Oh, huh, okay. This one seems to be looking very nice. Oh yeah, like the Balop and this one, I did bought them from an other collector. But the Mario Kart Wii is even like the best example. The thing was completely destroyed. 
So I'm here having the Wii Super Mario Bros. Wii Edition and I just realized I just said Wii twice. But the thing is like, look at the disc. <laughs> that was absolutely a first beat. Somebody didn't like Mario and when you're going to plug it in, yeah, it will boot up, but it will give you an error with my original Wii and with the Wii Mini. Absolutely. Yep. Cannot be read it anymore. It's destroyed. Okay, so when it comes to the Wii, there is a lot of junk. So if you want to make a complete collection, it's all up to you, but I just want to buy you games that I like. And I think the Wii is pretty damn awesome that we're having like the shooting games. I'm personally not, I'm a super big fan of it because some of the games feel kind of weird playing on the Wii. But you also have like pretty damn awesome like fighting games like Tatsunoko vs. Capcom. You're having so many cool things that you can do with it. I've made some previous videos about them. And that Resident Evil game, The House of Dead, a lot of great games. And I noticed a lot of people in the comments said to me that there are like even more games that I need to check out. But then overall, like, the shooting part is okay. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I personally prefer having CRT with an old school light gun. But the GameCube games can only be played on the first generation Nintendo Wii. So yeah, that is what you're going to get with the Wii Mini when it comes to collecting. Okay, so there is another thing that I need to talk with you about. So the cables. I already mentioned a couple of times in my videos, like, you're having different ways to connect them. So first of all, we're going to get this old composite cable. I'm not a big fan of it. Not at all. But then we're going to get the component cable. That is a really cool option and a really cool way to play because you're going to get way better signal. A lot of cables to plug in, but take consideration, new generation standard television don't even have a component so far, I know. Okay, so another great way is of course the Wii to HDMI dongle. So when making these videos, I noticed some people did have issues with this version, the cheap one. These things cost a couple of dollars. Yeah, for the money, I can just be honest, I mean, you cannot really complain. But people said like they had some issues with weird colors and the Mayflash seems to be better or didn't have this interference. That's something we we're going to talk about later in depth in a different video. But I just want to point out like we're having great solutions when it comes to an HDMI solution or that is something that you think when it comes to the Wii. There is one catch I noticed with the Wii Mini. Okay, so I plugged in the Mayflash edition, but also later on the cheap version. And guess what? I needed to use the old school composite cable. Yeah, the reason why, because when you go into into settings, and there's something I'm noticing, this Wii new thing doesn't even support my freaking dongles. So when you go into the display, sorry, it's in Dutch by the way, then we're going to get here the Aspect ratio, everything is like it is, but when you go into TV type, normally we're having like in the third option, and somehow this is the only signal he supports. So, in my opinion, the Wii Mini is pretty damn awful because you cannot even use this freaking HDMI solution because that would give you like a such a better, crisp, clear image on your television, and it's just more convenient when you're having like a modern television. Okay, so adding a game to the system, oh man, this feels so cheap and so clunky because you need to click it and push it in really hard. I'm just not a big fan of this system and it goes out quite easy, but okay. But of course, if you're going to play a game, it's going to be exactly the same like with a normal Wii. So the Wii Mini is an absolutely weird piece of technology. And again, I think there's going to be like this weird collectible in the future for the people who just want to collect some Nintendo stuff. And I must say like, personally, I, pers I just hate this thing. Like the fact that I can't even use my HDMI solution or better signal cables, that is such a big bummer. Okay guys, so the Wii Mini. I must say that it's fun to have it in a collection and it's absolutely cool to show here on the channel. But if you want to buy a Wii, I think the best one, in my opinion, it's still the first generation with the GameCube ports. If you don't care about the GameCube ports, you can always get like the second model that don't have the GameCube ports, but you can still play some Wii and have all the awesome features, including having the support for the freaking HDMI dongle. I want to thank you for watching, consider subscribing, hit that little bell, become one of the Wicked family and let me know in the comments, do you ever owned the Wii Mini and what do you think of it? And we'll see you in the next video.